Hey guys and welcome back to Life is Fido. So I'm pretty much here by myself. Kelvin's been MIA all day, so I've been un unable to do any recording with him. But uh, yeah, I've been doing a couple of things. I uh, sorted out the entrance to the castle, so look, you can get in and out. Huzzah! I also sat for ages getting um, freaking... Oh my god, what are called? Branches. I spent ages getting branches and making a load of uh, a load of traps. So I filled up all of these. As you can see in the bottom left, I've been raising up my animal lore to try and get that up to 60 so that we can get some leather, which would be glorious. Was it for 60? Ah, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I need, and the rest of this is pretty shit. Tame bigger, tameable animals. Then I need to get my procuration. Up, which procuration up super easy to do so we can dry hides and tan leather which would be awesome creating silks it's like pointless don't care about it we just need it up to 60 so yes that would be glorious so like I says I've got all of these full this one's full of hairs full of chickens 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 I think this one's empty oh no it's got some chickens in it that one's got hairs and that one's got hairs. So yeah, that's what's that's what we've been doing. And um, the main reason I wanted to get back on that, firstly, obviously, because we need to get ourselves some. Uh, we need to get ourselves leather, so I need to get my skills up. But secondly, because in the latest update they increased the actual uh, breeding rate of animals and coops. So hopefully that should. Uh, Speed shit up a little. As far as I recall, I've still got a lot of copper. Yeah, these are all full with copper on there. Yeah, I need to get copper. So, uh, for this episode, I'm not really that sure what to do. I've done a bit of terraforming off camera and things. Just kind of getting shit ready. Um, what I did want to do is I wanted to get a new area for farm. Because, as you can see here, I've... Uh, I've farmed these nine squares so much that they've went barren. There is a, a very easy way to sort that, which is like stand on these squares and dump some soil. And then you've got another section that you can plough and then uh, make into useful land. But I would like a bigger farm. The issue is, the way that this has been done, I feel like we've kind of closed off large areas. Like, I feel like behind this massive freaking stone wall, is pretty useless. In front of it is going to be used for something. So the only logical area to make another farm would be like down in this area here. But uh, I'd like to get some fences and things up. Which is what I was hoping to do with Kelvin. But as I says, he's not been on. Uh, yeah, the, um, the chickens have been pretty damn good for us so far at getting my skill up. I think I started and I had like 39 skill up to f Nah, it couldn't have been that. It could not have been that. Oh, that's right, I re-logged as well. Yeah, so I had a, a fair bit more. One of the cool things I noticed though is the all the wheat that I've been gathering from, uh, from trying to get hay, I can feed to the animals, which makes sense, but it's nice to know. So I've got a load of wheat in with my f three hairs that I've got in that place. That was basically just to, tr like, basically test to see if it was possible. Uh, what's in this moose corpse? There's some ridiculous amount of things. Oh yeah, there's a chainmail coif. A light chainmail helm. Huh, wooden spoon. Lol. What else have we got? I started sticking some of the copper in this wolf. There you go. So there's a load more copper in the wolf as well as the three traps. And is that a hammer as well? Is that a working hammer or a busted one? Oh no, it still works. Don't know why that's not in my inventory, but whatever. Oh, it's probably not in my inventory because it's equipped. Yeah, why have I got a spare hammer? Oh, unless that was like Kelvin's hammer when he got the mallet. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah, so that's uh I'm not sure if I showed you guys this. But this is my uh my little farming gains that I've got here. So we've got some flax stem, a couple of grapes, some potatoes, flax seeds, carrot, 
lettuce, lettuce, cabbage, looks like lettuce. Uh, onions, peas, and this is grain, or wheat rather, and 78 poop. So yeah, that's stuff that I got basically from just gathering stuff that was on the ground in front of me. Um, that's the uh, farm and gather wild whatever. Fuck is it? Farm and gather wild plants. So yeah, that's basically what I've been doing in the break between episodes. So. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's been pretty much all day. Um, I also cleared out this bit that was freaking Kelvin out because the uh, the sides were like caving in, but uh, I cleared it out. Basically, I don't know what it is, but you terraform on it once and they just disappear and you don't get anything for it. So it's not even like it's actual. Uh, it's not even like it's actual dirt that's uh, making the rounds in there. See, I kind of need to decide what I want to do. Hmm. We've not got an awful lot. I was kind of just aiming for this to be like a little catch-up episode. But as I say, there's a lot of the stuff to do with animal lore because it's so grindy. It's a lot of... Uh, it's basically a ton of sit and wait and do what you can. Oh, nice little apple tree there. But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, go to the coop, see if we can harvest some more eggs. Let's see, just clean the dung out of them as well. Basically this is all I've been doing for the last couple of hours is I uh... Oh, I forgot to say, it was a hundred traps that I placed. So I've got 99 animals. The reason I've only got 99 animals is because I was over encumbered when I opened up one of the traps, which disappeared was the animal that you got. So you really need to watch out what you do with uh, when you're actually over encumbered or when you're close to being over encumbered. <sighs> I think for the remainder of this episode though, I'm going to light up these furnaces and get going with... There's only 10 charcoal in that, I need to sort the charcoal for them. And get going with trying to get the rest of the copper ingots for the item that we're about the... What is it that we're bound? It's a sawmill. Yes, the rest of the copper ingots for the song. Can I place that there? No, I don't think so. So yeah, basically all the uh, all we're waiting on is me getting animal load up so I can get leather, and then we've got a load more things that we can do because it's both leather and we'll be able to make rope as well, which is going to be good. It's going to be great. Although rope requires that we have a bigger farm in order to uh, get some flax sorted out. So, we need Kelvin on to get his finger out his butt. I've noticed if you've got 80 in and 10 charcoal, after you use bellows up to the max, you never need to use bellows again and it will eventually just melt down all of the copper. So that's pretty cool. Because I mean that means I could automate it pretty darn well. I don't know, I've not really tried automating the uh, er, the actual smelting yet. I went from like using external scripts to then try to automate the game using injected scripts. And the uh, external scripts work fine, but the injected scripts are really difficult for me to do. Because I don't know how to code in C++ and that's what the, the game's pretty much wrote in. Initially I thought it was C-sharp because all the files they use are C-sharp files, which I thought was really fucking strange. Like, I've got the file extension CS, which is obviously C-sharp. Um, but yeah, apparently not. All the code inside them is C++, so I've been mean, trying to learn a bit of that, but it's just ugh, so different. Considering it's all based on C, it is very fucking different. Ech, 12 will do. You sitting there. So yeah, I've, uh, I've basically hit a brick wall with that. I mean, I don't code, like, video games in the slightest, so... Um, getting logic and things to work properly on video games is a lot different to getting logic and stuff working on... Um, just basic applications, like Windows applications. 
I don't know. Basically, what I need to try and find is a timer. I mean, it's pretty easy. The uh, the the IDE that I use for coding things just now is uh, basically it's got a function for wait. So it's pretty fucking simple. You say do this, then wait however long it takes for the skill to finish doing, and then do it again. Which is basically all I'm trying to do with the uh, injected script. Script. The issue with that though is getting something to wait is a nightmare. I mean, normally in C sharp or C plus plus, as I've been led to believe, you would just use a sleep function, but that um, that will obviously sleep the thread. Th well, not obviously, but well, it will sleep the thread that you're running on. So for anyone out there that doesn't code or anything. Um, Basically telling the thread to go to sleep is basically stops anything that's running on that thread. You might have heard that processors have got like multi-threading and like fucking 12 thread processors etc etc. Uh, so that basically means that each thread uh, is doing a specific task so it's going through the code and if you pause the thread while it's going through the rest of the code for the game then you'll hang the game basically and nothing else will uh, will work. So basically if I tell my guy to gather some plant fibers and then pause the thread then it'll get the co the command to gather the plant fibers and then it'll just wait and it'll be like okay like as soon as the uh, the wait is over it'll start again the guy will go right okay I'll gather those plant fibers you told me to do before the thread got told to stop so it basically stops absolutely everything in the game if you stop the thread it's running on. So that basically threw that out the window. There's a couple of other things. Um, the game's got a function called get real time, which gets the uh, the time of day in milliseconds, I think. I, I reckon that's the way it works. It looks like it's in milliseconds. Either that or it's in uh, it's ticks of the game code or the engine, I'm not sure. Oh, that'd be fucking massive. So, I'm guessing it's in there. Uh, I'm guessing it's in milliseconds. And I was trying to do something with that, but that just ended up hanging the game. So, I'm pretty much back to square one. I mean, I've learnt some new functions that are in the game. I've went through the um, like if you do uh, console dump functions, you can. Was it dump console functions? I always forget. Plus, it's quite late right now. Yeah, there you go, it's dump console functions. Uh, you can get a load of these functions. There is a uh, temp hide all naked mans. What's that do? Hide all naked. Oh, mans. I wonder what that does. If I remove my clothes, does that do anything? You can leave your hat on. Oh, it didn't hide me. Huh, no idea. But yeah, there's some there's some quite interesting ones. Like I've uh, I've already sh says about the um, the set FOV thing to change your FOV. <laughs> oh, sorry for that, guys. It's uh, five a.m. here. I'm quite tired. Um, I just thought that I better get at least one episode out for you guys. Um, before you start writing in the streets and like smashing like this fucking Walmart windows and things. Um, I say Walmart because 90% of my viewership is from the States, strangely enough. Ooh, set Doppler factor, but you could have some fun with that. Some of these won't work because you either need GM mode or other things. Like I said, this SFX stuff that you've seen me do before really fun. <laughs> like, it's really helpful. Oh, there was another one. Was it just reset? Oh, I'll need to jump down to the bottom and see if I actually pulled anything back. I need to find function reset. There was a function that I found which was quite, quite helpful that allowed you to reset the... pretty much reset the game instance. So it loaded your land textures and stuff like that again, which was pretty cool because sometimes you have uh, you have like like I'm having right now troubles right clicking on land, and you have to like look off and then look back at the land block to be able to right click again. 
so for automation purposes that turned out that that would be like super fucking helpful um but yeah I forgot the function now in my uh, my late night delirium let's put it that way uh, but anyway I'm going to uh, finish off doing the smelting as I was doing so that we can get a couple more ingots for the sawmill and I'll let you guys go. Um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow with some more episodes with Kelvin. And I should have my animal husband up by then. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I've been Steejo, who's a very sleepy Steejo. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.